some cases, are there physiological and psychological factors that the wider dance community really need to know about? I think there are, Marie. I think there are. Physiologically, you really do need to be aware of the impairment of joint proprioceptive acuity. This will compromise balance and coordination. So this is the student you keep correcting and keep correcting and they're just not getting it. And it might be because as part of their hypermobility, they have very poor proprioceptive acuity. As well as you move from that left-hand side of the spectrum through to the hypermobility spectrum disorders, we're starting to see a variety of gastrointestinal disorders. We may even see pelvic and bladder dysfunction. As you move right towards the right-hand side with the Ehlers-Danlos and the Marfan, there is a thing called POTS, P-O-T-S, and that's postural, orthostatic, tachycardia syndrome, and this affects the circulation. So this will be that student who will get up off the floor from watching, feel dizzy, lightheaded, and faint. And these may well be the students that we've thought, oh, they're dehydrated. Oh, they haven't eaten all day because they're rehearsing. Oh, they're just tired. But I think we all now need to be aware of POTS because if you have a student who is hypermobile, who is repeatedly getting dizzy and lightheaded and having to sit down or lay down before they pass out, they may well be experiencing POTS as part of their hypermobility syndrome. Psychologically, there is a strong association with anxiety disorders, and that's going to be a tricky one for us to pick up because many dancers are anxious anyway with, with peer group pressure, but really quite intense anxiety disorders. Uh, also pain enhancement. The pain will feel a lot stronger than we think it should be. So that can be a feature of hypermobility as well. So these dancers will benefit from an accurate assessment early diagnosis, early awareness, so that their management can begin early, so that we can understand what's going on and we can manage them early. Mm -hmm.